Hello, this is Vampire. For today's lesson, we're going to start with empty hand, then go to single stick, and then finish with double sticks. All right, so the technique that we're going to be working for today is we're going to be working off the jab. So we're going to be throwing the jabs, right? So one, two, and then from the jab, we're going to work off a hook. So we're going to go one, two, boom, one, two, boom. So we throw your jabs, boom, 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 and off the jab, you're going to work the hook into it. One, two, boom. Okay, so we're going to translate that now to the single stick. And the first thing is to practice this motion right here. We've been doing it with the double sticks, but all we're doing is the stick is coming forwards and the stick is coming downwards, and we're making a circle right there. So just like so, we're going boom. It's coming this way, outwards to the front, and it's going downwards, like so. So that is our jab strike, essentially in this case. So we're just going to go from here. I'm just going to use the weight of the stick and boom, drop the stick down. Boom. Just like that. That's my strike. So right here, boom, I'm dropping this strike onto my opponent. So from there, we throw the jab and we work our hook in there. So that's where this next motion comes in. So we throw the jab and then boom, like so. So it goes one, two, one, two, just like so, one and two, one, one and two. All right, so the next technique we're gonna go into is the roof block, like this, okay? So what we do is the strike's coming in and we're gonna do the roof block like so. Make sure that your head goes underneath because there is gonna be some kind of impact going on and we step to the side. So if the strike is coming right here, I'm gonna receive it and I'm getting out of there so that I could counter strike and move out of the way. So this is the roof block, boom. Okay, one more time, one and two. One, and notice I'm getting out of the way, and boom. And this is the way it's normally done, okay? So you come in here and you're making this nice circular motion. This is a nice exercise in itself, just doing this right here. You could use this arm to help clear it, boom. It's a nice shoulder exercise as well, so you could do this with both sides, both sides of your body, boom. So you're just bringing the stick around and clearing your head, boom. I'd be clearing it this way, and I could use my arm, shoulder to help me clear. Okay, so the idea is here, as I'm clearing it, the stick is using the momentum of the strike, the opponent's strike coming down, so the force is being transferred into a counter strike right there. That's nice for exercise. Um, I think in actual combat, it's just easier to do that. So I block it and I transfer it like so. And this is where the fan motion comes in. This is the fan. Imagine like you have a giant fan and you're going, oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. So from here, boom. I think that's a lot more efficient, but be sure to practice both, okay? You do need to get this body mechanic down, nice and circular and also practice the more efficient boom, boom, like so, more efficient movement like that. All right, so we're gonna combine the two movements. We're gonna go into the fan motion right here, and then we're gonna come down with that circular strike, and there is our diagonal move right there. So one more time, one, two, and three. Okay, so there's three moves, roof block, and this is our circular strike, and that's our diagonal strike right there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try to connect the motions. Go nice and exaggerate it, exaggerate it, exaggerate it. Now start to become more efficient. One, two, three. One, two, three. Don't be afraid to make nice, large movements. Mm. Boom, boom, where it's, you're doing art with your body, okay, like the Tai Chi people. Okay, don't be afraid to do that. This is nice practice, meditation and motion type thing. You could slow it down, exaggerate your movements and relax into it, or you could do it, you know, faster and more powerful for combat's sake. It just depends on uh, what your goal is, but I recommend to practice both ways. Okay, so last but not least, we're going to go into 
uh, double sticks and uh, you already need to know the heaven six for this one I'm not going to teach it here but I will demonstrate it real quick starting position like this one two three four five six so that's the heaven six uh, and what a lot of people like to do is they like to incorporate the roof block into the heaven six you probably see a lot of videos already on YouTube where people are doing it so let me just do that real quick so you're gonna start off with a roof block and it takes you to the number one strike and then you go to three four five six so the rest is the same it's just you're going with a roof block one two three four five six roof block one two three four five and six so the last exercise here is we're going to incorporate what we did earlier with single stick which is we're going to go roof block and then forward diagonal so there's an a b and c and then we go two three four five and six the numbers the rest two three four five and six are the same just like normal heaven six but from right here we're going to do roof boom boom those three movements right there a b and c and then we go two three four five six to normal heaven six so roof block boom, boom. and then two three four five six roof boom two three four five and six so that's the exercise for today thank you for watching and take care folks